What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi! My name is Danielle. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you want to join the Dan fam, you totally can, and subscribe down below. But today, I'm just going to be sitting here. It's a Friday night. I'm feeling inspired. Um, I got the candle lit, got some beautiful peonies in the background, and I have come to the realization recently that it is so important to do something for yourself every day. Every day. I'm a junior in high school. I know how hard it is to go through the motions of life and definitely school days. Like I know sometimes it's really difficult to wake up in the morning for school, like 6 a.m. Like, oh my gosh, like I have to go to school. I have to do this. I just have to do homework. Then I'm going to come home and do more homework. Okay, yes, that's true. School happens and like we all go through that, which is also I think really comforting. That's like another side note, but I think it's really comforting to know that we are all kind of going through the same thing every day. But it just matters how you handle it. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. So I think it's super important to do something for yourself every day, whether it's really tiny or really big. And that's just to reward yourself for doing what you do. So let's say you go to school all day and you have all this homework don't go straight home and do the homework or if you're gonna go straight do home and do your homework reward yourself something with with a this doesn't have to be something with a monetary value it could be something just as simple as sitting outside and I wrote down the other day a list of a ton of different things that you can do for yourself to make yourself feel good just easy ways to cheer yourself up throughout the day or throughout the weeks I understand that school can get busy and boring and tiring and you're just like oh my gosh and you just need a you need an excuse to relax or like to exhale and I just have a ton of ideas of what things you can do for yourself whether it's an hour or two hours or ten minutes, five minutes, I have all different ranges of things that you can do for yourself each day um, different activities or just things around the house that just can make you feel good because I have been doing that recently and I can't tell you guys how much better I have just been feeling in general like I'll go to school and I'll do my thing but I I plan out something for each day that I know okay I'm gonna go home and do my homework but after that I'm gonna do this or right after school I'm gonna go do this and then um, go home and do my homework like it just feels good to know that you're doing something for yourself and you just feel more productive so like let's say I go like to a workout class and then I come home I just feel so good like yes I did that for myself so now I'm gonna like grind hard get my homework done and then watch a movie and then be done you know like it's good the other day I just sat down as I was watching the sunset out back drinking some tea it was a really nice moment for myself and I was just reflecting I was journaling actually and then I was like hey I think it's important to do something for you once a day and so I have 22 things and I'll probably think of more as I'm making this video but um, these are 22 things that I think are great ways to do something for yourself and again I think it's important to do something for yourself every day it doesn't have to be something extravagant it could literally be just be something like for like five minutes so these are just ideas these are not like you have to do this but I just thought I'd read them to you guys first thing I have written down here is a facial the other day this is kind of what started it um, I got home from school and I don't have music rehearsal anymore so I can just come home after school and do what I need to do and I have a little bit more time to relax and I do understand that a lot of you guys have extracurriculars or sports after school and like I do know how that feels so obviously like sometimes you don't always have time for this but you can kind of go through this list and see things that you could do um, but anyways so the other day I, um, my skin was breaking out really bad and it was just not looking good. I was getting really stressed from work and just different things and my skin was just showing it and it was just showing it. And I was also just really stressed and I just wasn't feeling well. So this is like a Monday night guys or yeah, was it Tuesday night? Monday night? I know. I think it was a Tuesday night. This past Tuesday night. I, I like, this is a school night and I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a facial. And my friends were like, Danielle, you're going to get a facial on a school night? And I was like, you know what? I am. And it was a beautiful decision of mine. And ever since then, I realized that it's so important to do something for yourself. And don't get me wrong. I understand you guys that, like, not everyone is going to be able to go out and get a facial every day. Let me say that first off. This is one of the more expensive or monetary ones on this list. Of course, I'm talking about it first. But um, I'm so thankful that I actually make money from YouTube. I'm sure you guys know. And I also babysit and I do chores around the house. So I save up my money. I've been saving up my money more so for either more expensive things that can last a long time or services like massages or facials because 
it feels so good to have someone like care for you and like care for your face and like massage your face oh my gosh so anyways I went to get a facial and basically the facial I got was like for acne and she like cleaned out my skin put masks on and also like massaged my shoulders while the mask was on it was just such a beautiful and amazing experience it was very calming and it was like an hour away from technology from everything it was just so good and I'm so glad I did that for myself because it was a great start to my week after the facial I got in my car and I played this playlist on Spotify it was just it was just like a lot of like indie just kind of free spirited music and it, the sun was setting as I was driving down this beautiful like causeway um, going home and it was just such a great moment I was just kind of like breathing it all in and it was just like wow like it feels so good I just took one out one hour out of my day to do something for myself and it felt amazing number two go to a yoga class why not right take a few friends go to a yoga class and then go home and do your homework or do your homework and then go to the yoga class number three is go for a bike ride if you have a bike and you live in a neighborhood I'm a big fan of bike rides I've been doing a lot of bike rides recently and I've actually always just kind of been a bike ride person tomorrow morning actually me and my mom are gonna get up around 9 a.m. and bike over to this really cute coffee shop and you know it's just like little things like that because obviously like, we can drive places or have our parents drive us places but nothing is better than just getting on your bike with your little basket and feeling the breeze and the wind in your hair and your face and listening to some music it's so nice and you could go for a 10 minute bike ride around your neighborhood like that's what I do I just go around the loop or you can go on the trail number four is something I'm a really big fan of if I just feel like staying inside I go on my computer in my bed or at my desk and I'll get something cute and comfy on I'll light my candle I'll um, steep some tea and I'll just go on Pinterest and just kind of have like a pinning and tea drinking experience I I've talked to some other people about it and they do it too it's just like you feel really good going on Pinterest pinning different recipe ideas or outfit ideas it's just kind of a little bit of inspiration for your week and I think it's a great idea. Number five is something that I do every day because if I don't do it I go crazy so when I go on vacation I just oh my gosh I go crazy. Drive and jam. Drive and jam. Drive and jam. Drive and jam. Okay that's really hard to say. I know not all of you guys have your licenses yet or whatever the case may be but if you do have a car or if you have a friend that has a car I love just getting in my car and going for a drive. If I'm just stressed or I just like can't think straight or I just have a lot on my mind I get in my car play music and sing along and drive just like something easy just like a nice easy drive that I know I can just go around and come back to my house or whatever it is but it just feels so good or if like I'm in a really good mood I'll like get in my car and like go on my SoundCloud and play like intense trap music and have like the bass all the way up on my car and like be like boom bata. Ah, hey. and it's just like it feels so good and like I don't know what it is about driving and like I don't know it's it's a good pick-me-up and it's just that's something little you can do for yourself if you're like on your way home from like soccer practice do that number six I've been a fan of smoothies recently I've been getting up early in the morning and instead of like worrying about breakfast and making myself pancakes I just like get up and I go get a smoothie and walk around downtown or something. Number seven is something I've been doing recently because I've never been one to tan. I really don't. I don't get tan, but I was wrong. I've actually been getting a little color. This light's kind of washing me out, but like I've noticed if you actually just lay out like 30 minutes a day or so, like if you just go out in your backyard and in your bathing suit and just tan a little bit in each day, it creates like a nice color. So I've been trying to do that recently. Um, so I mean, everyone can go out back and just lay in the sun. Um, and I understand it's not super hot for all of you guys yet, but when it gets to that point, go outside and tan, bring like a little fruit cup and some cold water. It's like, it's like you're at a spa resort, but you're just at your house, you know, just go out back, little fruit cup, water, put a lemon in it, put some nice sunglasses on, bring your magazine, just like 30 minutes, that's all you gotta do. Number eight is spin class. I love spin class. It is so much fun. I did this the other day with my friend Katie. We made a whole day out of it because I didn't have any homework. This is like a day that I just did not like have anything else to do. Me and my friend Katie, after school we met at her house. But first we just went out back and tanned for like 30 minutes or so with some fruit and water. And then we got into our workout clothes and we went to a spin class. And spins basically when you go on those bikes and you just go like really really fast and there's like an instructor and you like turn up the intensity so it's like harder to bike and stuff and it's so much fun you guys the class we went to you go in this room there's like all these bikes and you get in your bike and then she turns the lights basically off and you're biking for an hour but like really really fast and she'll have you stand up and like go 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 and she plays like really cool intense music so like when you're you're going up it's like ah ah and then 
then you go really fast and the beat drops and you're like, oh, and it's just such an amazing experience and it's so good if you've just been stressed or you're angry. If you're angry, take a spin class. Let me tell you, take a spin class, a hip hop class. It really gets it all out for you. And like I work out like a good amount. Like I work out like three to four times a week, sometimes even more. And I don't like sweat. Like, and I, I work out, like I swear I do, but like I don't get that like visible sweat, but with spin, oh. Oh, I am drenched, but like it feels so good. It's like a really good detox. Next is a Zumba class. I love Zumba. It's a really fun dance class. So if you're just feeling it, just go take a Zumba class. Number 10 is something that isn't just like a one-time thing. This is something that if you really want to invest in yourself and in your body and your health, I would recommend personal training. I do that sometimes as well, just depending on what my schedule looks like. I'm going to start personal training next week. Um, basically, you can go to your local gym and they usually have trainers that work there. This is just basically with like you don't really know what to do at the gym or you need some motivation or you want some new workouts or you want someone to help you reach your goal um this is something you could work with a personal trainer that you really like and you could go like two to three times a week and that's something that you know in your head like okay every week i'm gonna be doing this that's something you could do for yourself and it's good for you 11 um is get a massage this is kind of like facials but massages really change your life and there's a few different things. I know massages can be so expensive. I think they're outrageously expensive, but like I understand like they're doing a lot of labor on your body when they're, you know, massaging you. But there are also places like in the mall, they have these little kiosks that I go to all the time and you just sit down, you can pay like a dollar a minute and they'll just like massage your back and your shoulders. It's just a nice pick me up. Like sometimes I'll be on my way home from school and I just stop by the mall, go to this kiosk and I'll be like, okay, $10, just 10 minutes and they just rub your back and get all the kinks out. And that's just my one thing I did for myself that day. Or if you want to get like a full on massage, um, I know some places like beauty schools and like massage schools or whatever they're called, they're students that are trying to get more and more people to massage, so they'll charge you cheaper. Number 12 is go swimming. And I know this can't work out for everyone, but if it can work out for you, I suggest doing it. Um, when it gets closer to the summer, I, after school sometimes, just kind of as a little detox I don't even know if that's a word. I just get my bathing suit on really quick when I get home from school because it gets hot here in Florida. And I'll just jump in the pool like all the way, hair and everything, and just swim for like 20 to 30 minutes, do some laughs, and I just feel so good. It's just like, feels really good. Or my mom, what she does is if she's just wanting a, like a detox, she'll go to the beach and she'll just dunk in the salt water and the ocean and like she like loves that because apparently salt water is like really healing. 13, who doesn't love to online shop and listen to music? That goes without said. The standard bath and candles, tea, music, bubbles, the whole nine yards go for it. I have my, my friend Reagan, shout out to you, I don't know if she's watching this, but she literally takes a bath every night and I think that's the coolest thing ever. She just, that's the one thing she does for herself every day. She goes, she's a like hardcore volleyball player, so she plays volleyball literally almost every day after school and so then that's like her thing. When she comes home, she gets her bath, she gets her bath bomb, her candles, her music, bubbles, all that and like that's her thing and I think that's awesome. Number 15 is sit outside during sunset to reflect slash exhale I have written here and I, I just said sunset because sunset's like my favorite time of the day I call it the golden hour it's just such a beautiful time and it's not too hot outside so just go sit out back sit out front go to a local park sit there and just inhale your surroundings and exhale your worries it's a great way to just kind of sit and reflect Number 16 is something that I'm really trying to start doing and sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't, is when you get in bed, turn off your phone and read for like 10 minutes or so and I swear your eyes get so tired and, and reading makes you sleepy so you're not going to bed like on your phone, half on your face, you know? Like it's really good to read and like reading is just like really therapeutic I think so that's something you can do for yourself like okay, like I'm going to do all this homework but then when I get my bed I'm going to get turn everything away and just read and like in like divulge yourself into that story. 17 is get a haircut or a blowout. Um, I I think it's very important to get trims every now and then like that's what they say to do because otherwise you'll have to like cut a lot of your hair off just because like dead ends um, or just like something refreshing for yourself or I know a lot of places around me at least they have salons where they have like really inexpensive blowouts so I mean this isn't necessarily for like school but let's say on a weekend and you have like a party that night and you have nothing to do and you just don't feel like doing your hair, go to a local salon. Sometimes they charge like from 20 to $40 um, for a blowout if you're like willing to do that. It's really awesome. They'll just blow out your hair, style it, shampoo it, massage your hair. It feels so good. And that's something you could reward, your, reward yourself for, for like going to school all week or whatever it is. Um, obviously that's not like an everyday thing. 
but I think that's something really cool you can do for yourself. 18. Get a new skincare regime or resume. Reg re re regime? I don't know. I love skincare. I love kind of going to Sephora and saying, hey, like, this is my skin. Like, what do you think is the best for my skin? Like, and we'll, like, look at masks and everything and, like, just stuff like that. Or I'll just come home and, like, go on YouTube and look up DIY masks and stuff. I just love a good night of just giving my scare my skin like a pampering I actually have a pamper night routine so if you want to check that out like just putting on face masks and eye cream just like all that it's really fun number 19 is Eno hammock at a local park I have a Eno hammock and I love it so much I'm sure you guys have seen Eno hammocks before they're the ones that um, they like ball up really small but you can like put them in between two trees anywhere like you put them between two palm trees two oak trees like whatever you want two poles people use them in college a lot I know and I use them at camp and like all that fun stuff and it's really fun to just um let's say after homework um you go and like meet up with a friend and take your Eno hammock and like some music and hang it in between two trees and just talk and just lie there and enjoy life <laughs> 20 is take yourself to a coffee shop some days when I just want to feel a little bit more productive I don't know why but coffee makes me feel really productive not only does the taste and the caffeine that gets you buzzed but also the scent of it I don't know what it is so taking myself to a coffee shop even if I'm gonna do my homework there, it's just like I feel like that's something I'm doing for myself because it's just really cool to like be in that environment with the coffee and the grinder and the and the people buzzing about whatever it is and you're just sitting there like grinding hard doing your homework but like you're sipping your your coffee. I don't know. I just think that's a really cool thing you can do for yourself. Number 21, get a car wash. I don't know why, but that's something I think is doing for yourself. Like if you have a car or whatever it is, I go and I get in, like I do the ones where you drive it in yourself and you like get to like watch it all happen around you and I'll like get Starbucks before or something or like make a peanut butter jelly sandwich at home. I'm not even kidding. I've done this before and bring it to the car wash and sit in there and eat my PB&J while the car, I don't know. That just might be something that I would be interested in. I don't know. Hey, go for it. And lastly, I have written down is go kickboxing. Me and my friends have been talking about going kickboxing forever. We still haven't done it, but I think that's just another something you could do for yourself. That is 22 things that you can do for yourself every day. Well, not everything every day, but like different ideas. Comment down below to some different things that you guys might do for yourself every day. I, I just have been a big proponent of that recently. And obviously like not all these things can be done every day. Some are more grander than others and you can just like apply these to your life as you wish. I love you guys so much. Make sure to follow me on all my social media like my Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. I love you guys so much. I think I already said that. I really enjoyed making this video. Please, 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 please comment down below any video requests that you guys have because I want to film videos that you guys want to see, frankly. So, you know, like this video if you liked it and I'll make more videos like this and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye, guys.